Hey, welcome back to Mass Effect. We left off last time here stuck with this glowing orb. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room? So I looked it up and they said to go left over here, which I thought I did and it was a dead end. So we have to, here we go, here we're, go, we're going left. This led to something, like, down here is a dead end, definitely. I'm not that stupid. But I could have sworn this led to nothing. Yeah, it was this canister. It led to this thing, which we decrypted. Oh. Uh, we're stupid. Well, that's a good sign. Finding new guys that we haven't seen yet. What are these little hover bike things? Hmm. There's supposed to be something about detonating a claw. Okay, here, we'll do this. Cargo vessel, colonies, node or crux. Whatever. Wait, is that a ramp? That could be a ramp. Yes, it is. Same as before, we don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. Sixty one experience just to look at that thing. Why not? Gun overheats at the worst possible times, but the grenade came in handy. This is interesting, Commander. A containment lab of some kind. Dislodge even one claw in that ship. Yeah. So there should be something. Okay, uh, there should be something in here that we could use to blow up the claw. We gotta, like, set charges or something, or, like, pressure levels. Get out of there. Geth are preparing to attack Citadel Armstrong Nebula. Hmm. I don't really care about this stuff. My hope is that it just triggers a journal entry for, like, side quests later on or something that I could do on my own time. Oh, here we go. So, works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower, 
and the safety shutoff kicks in if the PSI gets above 34, but the, if the PSI is in the 31 to 34 zone, the door slams down with enough power to shoot through a metal beam. That's what we want. We want to destroy the claw. So we have to add up to, I already forget what it said. But I do know there's only like three switches you gotta turn on. So we'll try 17, five, and 13. No. Something about the pressure has to be just right. That's not enough. So, add seven. No, that's too much. Oh, that was probably it. So then, seven instead of five. No. What am I missing here? I've tried like every combination except for the right one. Oh, high pressure. That's what we wanted. Barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Alright, so tough, Shepard. Medium armors. Not too bad. Alright, let's get out of here. We gotta go to that blue force field door that is now deactivated. But what about that girl? That was, uh... The daughter of that other lady. She was trying to get out of here too. Here we go. What? Oh, she just teleported. Oh, hey, there she is. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but... The power cut before I could send the message. I, I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zeus' hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? 
What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Let's all stand here like computer figures. <laughs> Sometimes it just looks out of place. Oh! This was that other blue door. I didn't know it led right here. Okay, I know where we are now. Because I got lost here for like five years. In the last episode. And here's the tank right where we left it. Even though I saved and turned the console off. So yeah, we gotta go all the way back to Zoo's Hope, that colony. Ah, tank controls. Come on, just turn the nose of it. There we go, there it is. All right, no rubble now. They're coming for yous. some crazy experience for that uh get some first aid going and th these ones don't matter at this point so we'll auto level them well first aid I'm feeling a little bummed out that I did nothing for my birthday. Like, I I kept on telling myself I would do something, and then I just didn't. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio! What was that all about? This is Juliana Bainham of Pharaoh's Colony. Please help us. Well, you have fun in there, lady. No, we'll go talk to her. <laughs> it's tempting to drive away, though. What? What are you doing? You can't do this, John. Everyone, shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. Explain yourself. What do you think you're doing, Zhang? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Zhang. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Species 37. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Oh, we don't have enough charm, really? You've gone way too far. This ends now. 
If that's the way it has to be, heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work and you know it. So what now, Commander? Uh -huh. I need to find out why the Geth are after the Thorian. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Equip your grenades with the anti-thorian gas upgrade. This will disable infected colonists without killing them. We only got plus two Paragon for that. I wonder if it would have been greater if we were able to talk our way out of that. You must have, have to have really high charm. Anti-Thorian gas, yeah. So what we do is go to grenades, hit X for upgrades, and we gotta find the anti-Thorian gas. Alright, so that's like how you get some of that other stuff we've been picking up. Now I can only carry like six grenades, so... That's a little worrying. enemies right where the camera needs to turn sharply so that like, you can actually aim at them. And it's like the only one-up the enemies have on you. It's like they get you when you're trying to get the camera ready. What? Oh, a colonist. Reaper? Wait. That's not a colonist. No amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. Careful. No hitting the colonists. Even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. Sixteen colonists alive. We're gonna have to read the top of the screen carefully. Jeez, well they were all the bad things. We should have used the tank. I don't know about the ones up there. Weren't those actual people up there before? Yeah, colonist. That crazy guy, Ian Newstead. Alright, well, good thing I know the grenade button now. That was a good shot.
16 colonists still alive. We're doing all right, but we only have five grenades, so we gotta be careful. How did that not get that guy? back now. That one guy I left alive, I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Who's Greta Reynolds? Oh, that is... Still 16 colonists alive. We haven't failed and accidentally killed any of them yet. game of zombies now. Controls are too complex and delicate while in combat. What? Do we really gotta get every little guy on the mini-map? This is the way back. The way is shut. I thought I grenaded you. Really, that one guy that I left alive, we gotta go back and get. That's so stupid. He should have died in the blast. It was perfectly placed in between... Oh, wait. Get down! Where is this clown? He was like up here. Yeah. Why didn't you die Get by down. that grenade? Stupid. Now I only have one grenade. This this had better work. Still 16 colonists alive, though. Alright, where is that thing that opened up? Is it? This is it. A 
plus 32 Paragon and zero Renegade we got. Because we did good. That was, that was good. Wake up, thing. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kila, what is that? We are gonna need bigger guns. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. What? I'm here to make a deal, I guess. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in a new growth. What the heck? What do we do? Now is not the time. Something that had the desired effect, I believe. A few more, and it will be severely hurt. Okay, a few more just like that. Gotcha. Let's do it. Hey, wake up. What? Oh no, what's it gonna do? Another one? strange why well, it's enjoyable though weapon locker
Wait, can we go up that way? I see the red dots on the minimap. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Does the AI run right in front of my shots? All targets down. It's not. There's more. But there's this thing, which is probably going to give us many gel we don't need. Oh no. That actually might be useful. Mercenary 4 armor versus Mercenary 5. Right? Phoenix. Yeah, Mercenary 5 is better. A lot better. Looks about the same, though. Junk armor, man. But anyway, that's for another time. Where was that door that was like right here? There it is. Wake up. Except not really, when are these things going to wake up? Talking about all clear. Yeah, see? Oh wait, no, that's my person. You know, for just wielding pistols, my helpers are doing alright.
That's the last of them. Yeah, they're they're not doing too bad actually for AI stuff. That both looked and felt like the last one. Oh wait, no, we can keep going. There's too many of them, man. It's no big deal, though. We're, we're doing just fine. It's just it's starting to get a little repetitive, though. Which leads me to believe... Probably at the end. No try rocket launcher, but it'll do. Oh, great. Now what? I'm free. I. I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. What? A sorry ally. Okay. How did you end up inside that thing? My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. Benezia sought to turn the river and was swept away. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will, the process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. 
He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. I don't understand. Where is the cipher? How do I get it? The cipher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory, a viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need the cipher. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I'll be fine. She messed up my mind. I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship where you can be monitored. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Uh, what about that other blue lady? I want to know more about Benezia. Benezia was greatly respected among our people. A powerful biotic, even for an Asari. She was widely known as a teacher of philosophy and religion. She always sought the paths of peace and harmony. She joined with Saren because she hoped to turn him away from his path of destruction. It backfired. Instead, she became one of his most powerful allies. As I mentioned before, Matriarch Benezia underestimated Saren. Be sure you do not make the same mistake. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Okay. You saved most of the infected. It'll take time to recover from the physical effects, but they'll be all right. <laughs> Thank you. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. 
I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Okay, well... Farewell, Shiala. Shiala. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. I got experience for that. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. So now we gotta go do that... Was it novella? I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Not now, but sure. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good, good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Just come and see me when you've got the data. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. I don't want to go all the way back there, dude. We're all the way back here now. I would assume it would be empty, no more Geth. That guy's the shopkeeper. That was the power lady. That's the water lady that we never finished. Somewhere down here is our ship. I have no recollection, no memory of this place. Oh. Wait, yes I do. Now I know where I am. Now that I can see the goal... I know where we are. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Yeah, we got a lot of decontamination to do. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? Yeah, that was strange, man. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Going on another acid trip. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. 
Did you learn anything? You must have seen something. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Hey, man. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Okay. I guess that ends the Pharos mission. It's a good thing we stopped the last episode when we did, because that was still quite a lot of stuff that filled this episode. So yeah, we got that data recovery thing, but that's just a whatever. Yeah, Novaria. Geth Interest. The other main objective that's been around this whole time. Hey, we got points. Still can't do charm, though. Maxing out that health. Um, yeah, I guess we're done here. So next time we will go see Novaria and what that's all about. Thank you guys for watching and take care.